This video is brought to you by ClipChat. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create these really, really cool video ads that you can just put on your social media to promote your YouTube channel, to promote your website, to promote your business, to your service, anything you can imagine using ClipChamp templates. It's gonna be really, really simple and straightforward. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, we're gonna get started creating some really cool ads right after the end. Intro. Okay guys, so when you click on the first link down in the description, you will land on this page, how to create videos using templates. Creating a video from scratch can seem like a daunting task. If you're lacking inspiration or simply don't know where to start, let us put your mind at ease by suggesting you try one of our ready to use free video templates in any genre of your choice. Whether it's a real estate video, marketing ads, YouTube tutorials, or birthday messages, we've got you. Template is a sample video that's offered to creators as a framework that they can customize and make the own so it's like pre-made and you can customize it to your wants and needs now we have to decide what kind of ad are we creating for our business so we're going to create a little scenario here so let's say that we have a drop shipping website over at shopify and we're drop shipping accessories jewelry anything like that so we're going to click on this one where it says start with this template and then it's basically going to pick the template and it's going to load and everything like that in the video editor right here so now that we know the basics of our template let's play it back first and let's see what we have and what we want to customize actually. Okay, so that is basically our ad that we have right now in front of us. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're happy with the first shot. So then we're gonna adjust the text at the top. So in order to adjust the text, we're gonna click on this purple box where it has the T from the text icon, which says shine bright. So if you click on there at the top, it says text. So then we can actually change it up and type in what we want. So let's go ahead and tease the watcher or the potential client actually, actually go to our website and buy some jewelry. So we're gonna start off by typing whether it's a gift for you or a loved one. But as you can see, it doesn't really fit on the screen. So we're gonna click on transform at the top so we can actually make the size smaller like that until it fits in the screen. So right here it says whether it's a gift for you or a loved one. Then we're gonna move on to the next frame. And then we're gonna click on this text icon. Then we're gonna click on text at the top once more so we can change up the text of the second shot. We're gonna type in the only limit is your imagination. So we're gonna also click on transform and we're gonna make it smaller just so it fits. And we're gonna place this one below the screen. So we're gonna click on the position tab and we're gonna click on this middle square. So we will actually center it at the bottom, but maybe it's best to actually keep this at the top because it's like crossing the finger, everything is a little bit difficult, more difficult to read. So it just depends. Like you can also place it in the middle. That also looks great. But then moving on to the next shot right here, it says Black Friday sale, 50% off on all diamonds and then we have the website so we're gonna click on there as well and we're gonna click on the text icon we're gonna fill in a little different text as well we're gonna type in huge black friday sale and we're gonna type in that's not going to be only on diamonds but also on the entire collection of jewelry huge black friday sale 50 percent off all jewelry and then we have our website so let's just type in for example precious diamonds.co and we can also change up the font by clicking on this button and then we can pick any font that we like okay so now that we have adjusted the text we can also adjust the shots so let's go back to the very first one and let's go ahead and click on filters and let's say that we're gonna spice up our video by not necessarily making it black and white but just adding a little bit more contrast like that that's gonna be really really eye-catching as well and we can just also pick different filters but i think the increased one will actually look the best on this shot so moving on to the next shot and of course guys it's really really simple that you can just also swap out content yourself if you found something for example a stock clip on youtube you can add in your own media by clicking on this button you can also go to their stock library and you can find like other shots 
stats that you find interesting. So let's type in jewelry and let's see what kind of clips are popping up right here. So I think this one would actually be a great shot for the beginning one, like for yourself or a loved one. So we're going to click on this plus icon and now it is preparing and it is importing that clip that we just selected. Okay, so now that the clip is into our library tab, we can actually drag that onto the timeline. But as you notice, it is overlaying on our entire timeline. So we're going to place our cursor right here and then we're going to click on this scissors icon. That's going to make it split. We can actually make it bigger by clicking on transform and then hit crop the fill. So it's going to fill up the entire screen instead of having like black bars. So now that we've done that, we can also position the text to the middle by clicking on transform and we're going to pick this icon to actually place it in the middle just like that. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the second one, which is we're going to place that ring footage for the second clip instead of the first one. And we're going to also put our marker right here in between these text files so we can also trim that one down as well. Clicking on the split icon. But what we can also do is we can mess with the color balance, as you can see. So if I drag this one up, that's going to change like the orange into the clip. You can really, really make it pop out, as you can see, and also with the temperature of the clip right here it says add logo so you can just click on upload logo and it will actually prompt this box where you can actually select the PNG version of your logo. So then you, if you want to change up this color, you can also click on colors on the right. So we can pick, for example, going from pink to maybe like something dark and something that pops a lot. You can also change the text color from white to, for example, silver or gray, yellow, or basically anything that you like and that fits this one. I would say yellow would actually be good with the background. So if you play it back, this is what we made in total. So as you can see, that looks really, really cool. And what is also possible is that you can add in your own media, like they've said in the introduction, by clicking on this button. You can also go to this button where you can actually get stock footage from drones, skylines, sunsets, anything you can imagine. You can even type in jewelry right here and then it will pop up like a lot of different clips to choose from. Like it says in the clip, the only limit is your imagination. And that's also the case on this footage page. Now you can also add in separate text files if you hover over this one. It is actually actually nice and transparent so you can drag it on top of the ad. You can also have multiple overlays, for example, like these bars or anything like that that's coming across the screen. Of course, these are all animated and moving. And if you go to the button below it, you can add in multiple backgrounds. You can change the colors. It is really, really cool, guys. So this is just one video of like the entire series about this video editor. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments down below. And who knows, your question will be answered in the next coming episode. So this is basically how you create a really, really cool ad, for example, for Instagram for your drop shipping business, because this is nice and square. So it actually fits Instagram straight away. So you can just click on export at the top when you're done. And then you want to pick of course, 1080p. And then you can also decide if you want to compress it or not. We're going to check this because we need to actually be able to email this to, to ourselves or save it onto Google Drive so we can access it and download it onto our phone. So here we have our video. So you can also fill in this little question where it says, how user-friendly was ClipChamp for completing your video? You can give in your honest opinion. So then it is actually exporting the video. And while you're waiting, you can also click on enable sharing so you can upload it straight onto Google Drive. And then you can go onto the Google Drive app on your phone, access the folder that you dropped this video in, download it onto your phone, upload it onto Instagram, create your Instagram campaign, fill in your budget, you know, the time that you want to have this campaign to last. And that's basically how it's done. But you can also upload this one onto YouTube or download the video. These buttons will become clickable once the export has finished. So what I've showed you guys today is actually a part of the business platinum plan, which you can get free for one month using the trial, obviously, and you can get a coupon code code using the code alex halford and you can actually apply that code to any plan that you like and you can receive the first 30 days completely for free and in order to obviously redeem this code you need to create an account real simple for free you want to upgrade you want to choose your monthly subscription enter the code when checkout and you're set and this can be done all through the first link down in the description all right guys so that is basically how to do it this is how you create really cool ads using clipchamp so i want to thank guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support as always and also a big shout out to ClipChamp for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in a brand new video. I hope tomorrow because I'm quite busy the last few days. So I'll see you guys, of course, in my next video.